Hey, it's the Nerdy Cooking Lady, and Happy Halloween! Well, almost. Today, we're going to be cooking from the art of eating through the zombie apocalypse, gifted to me last Christmas. It's an amazing book. I hate saying it, there's not a ton in it that I really want to make right away. But one of the things that caught my eye was burritos. And for that, we're going to use ground bison, even though it says beef or chicken. Going to use our burrito shells. We're going to use a little bit of complete spice that's like um, onion powder, garlic powder, you know, things all mixed together that you put in everything. Cumin and a little bit of Creole because I can't find any of my chili powder right now. Yeah, shocker. Then when we make our burrito meat, we're going to be putting it in the big shells. Got some cheese, got some pico de gallo, got some pickled jalapenos. Got some sour cream. We regretfully don't have any lettuce, and that kind of bums me out. But you can always put whatever you want in your burrito, honestly. But this is what's going to go in mine. So, you know the drill. Let's do it. First, we're going to get that beef browning in the pan and add our cumin allspice and creole to it just to give it that little kick. Alright, better start chopping that up and getting it brown. Well, our ground beef is mostly brown now. We've got our spices in it. We're going to cook up a little bit of rice to go with this and put together one of the burritos. I'm just going to take a moment to mention the Gamers and Geese Can Cook playlist. If you want to be on the playlist, then make a food video and mention the Gamers and Geese Can Cook playlist also. There's lots of fun people there that have cooked amazing things, so go check it out. I'll put the link in the description. And there's a few items in here I just could not find. There's freeze-dried ground chicken and beef. I cannot find that. I added the onions already. There was freeze-dried cheese. I could not find that either. I couldn't find some of the ingredients to make flour tortillas. Which, you know, that all would have made it better. But I couldn't find some of the stuff. Someday I want to remake this recipe when I can make it properly without fresh beef and just some of the commodities that we know today. Because I think that's the point of the book, is to try to eat through the zombie apocalypse. And you wouldn't have all the ground beef and stuff we have. But this is my version of it. I'll try to make a better one at some point. And let's go see how it tastes. Alright, for my burrito, we've put down some rice already. I'm going to get some of the beef that I cooked up. Can't talk today. Don't super want to overwhelm myself with beef because I got a little more stuff to put on it. But there we go. I'm going to put a little bit of pico de gallo on. So I put a lot more rice. I love rice. On my burrito only, I found some candy crisp um, jalapenos, pretty much pickled jalapenos with the sweet side to them. I'm going to put just a thin layer on mine. We're going to put some sour cream on that and lyricals and go see how it tastes. And there you have it, the burrito. We will take a nice big bite out of this if it doesn't fall apart. Had a few good bites of that. And the beef has amazing flavor. The jalapenos were a little tiny too spicy, but that's okay. I'll get through it. <laughs> And like I said, I don't like to make it where I can get the freeze-dried stuff so it actually tastes more like what the zombie recipe wants it to. But there you go. We've got our burritos from the art of eating through the zombie apocalypse. Hope you try out the recipe. Hope you have some comments. Leave them in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Hit the like button. And as always, I will see you soon.